Laura Internet. Well, it's finally here after months of preparation. Next week, it's the start of the Community Round Robin Quilt Along. So I can finally tell you all the details of how it's going to work. As I've hinted before, there's going to be four people involved in this quilt along. There's me, of course, otherwise I wouldn't be telling you about it. There's Brenda from Conquering Mount Scrapmore. There's Kelly from Kelly's Quilts and Cruises. And Michelle from Bits and Pieces Quilting. Now you're going to want to be subscribed to all four of us because that's the only way you're going to get the full pattern for this quilt along. Because we're each going to be telling you about different parts of it. So why are we calling this a round robin? Well, in a traditional round robin, you sew a part of the quilt and then you send it off to the next person who sews another part and they send it on to the next person and so on. We can't really do that because we're scattered all over the world. So instead what we're doing is we're doing a virtual round robin. Next week Brenda is going to be showing you how to create the center of a block. Instead of sending that block on to me, who will be the next person, she sent me the pattern. I make the pattern that she designed and then I'm going to show you how to add to that pattern. That pattern goes on to the next person and she designs the next part and so on. And you can sew along with us just by following our channels and getting the pattern as it goes along week by week. What we're going to end up with is four blocks each with three parts to it. A center, a inner border and an outer border. So what are you going to need to get started? Well the good news is you've probably got everything you need already. We want this to be a bit of a no shopping quilt along. We're not going to tell you to go and buy particular fabrics or any special tools. All you need is the fabric that's already in your stash and basic quilting supplies like a cutting mat, a ruler, rotary cutter and of course your sewing machine. Nothing special. So you can choose the colorway that you use for your quilt. You might want to go with just two or three colors or you might want to make it completely scrappy. It's entirely up to you. And we're hoping there'll be lots of opportunities to use scraps in these patterns so that you're not making a lot of waste. This is all about not having to go out and buy new fabric. I found this nice dark blue batik in my stash. You might remember where I last used that. I've still got quite a lot left so I think I can use this as a background on maybe all of the blocks. So I've been picking out some fabrics from my stash that I think go along with it. I think I'm going to try and stick to three or four sort of broad colour families that go together nicely with it and that have quite a bit of contrast between them. The really exciting thing about this quilt along is that we want you to make this quilt your own. That means sometimes we'll suggest some options for how you make it. Maybe it will just be opportunities to do a bit of fussy cutting and add little interesting quirks to the quilt. Or sometimes we might give you options in the pattern. Or you just might want to do something completely different. You might see the way that we've done a particular aspect of the pattern and think, well, I kind of like that idea, but I'd actually rather go in a completely different direction with it. And that's fine. As we've been exchanging patterns, we've been playing around with them a little bit and not always sticking strictly to the pattern. Now if all those options sound really scary to you, don't worry because each week there will be a printable PDF pattern that you can download for free and if you want you can just follow the pattern as written. But if you want to be a bit more experimental you can and if you want some ideas for how to get experimental, I suggest wait until the end of the quilt along before you start sewing. Waiting until then you might get some ideas on different ways you can approach this quilt. Or just dive in now, it's entirely up to you, this is your quilt. And with all these options we're giving you, of course there's different options for layout too. Most of us are going to make three copies of each block and end up with a three by four grid of blocks. But you don't have to make three of each block. If you wanted to make a baby quilt, you could just maybe make one of each block and just make a two by two four blocks. If you want to make a giant bed quilt, maybe you could make four or five of each block. Like I said, this is 
all about making it your own. We give you the ideas, you run with them. I really can't wait until the end of the quilt along to see all of the finished quilts. So all of this starts next week on Brenda's channel. She's going to be giving the first part of the pattern. So make sure that you subscribe to everyone. You'll find links to all the channels down in the description below, as well as a timetable of when we're going to be posting the videos. It'll be one per week, but they're not always on the same day of the week, just depending on each of our own schedules and time differences. I really hope that you're going to join us on this adventure. It's going to be cool. <laughs> Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you on Brenda's channel next time. Now, I'm off to pick out some more fabrics. I'm so looking forward to this. Mm -hmm.